Okay, this one is about what we used to call the 80% furnace, and what you're seeing now is uh, an 80% furnace. Uh, it has a draft hood on it. That's this here. I'm going to explain draft hood in another video, but uh, all of the quote old 80s had a draft hood. They had burners that were ribbon type burners uh, that just move in like that and the fire comes up. Uh, these were called 80 percenters. They were 80 percent furnaces in that if I put uh, 100,000 BTUs into this furnace and it was up and running and just running what we call steady state uh, then 20 percent or 20,000 BTUs would be going out the vent here and the other 80,000 would be available to warm the house. Okay, that was not a real accurate way. It's true that if it was just steady state operating, it would, uh, it would come up to those specs. However, uh, there were parts of this furnace that were not efficient. The draft hood here, it drew air out of the house all day long. So that's heated air, so you'd lose that. Um, there were startup and shutdown efficiencies with these things. Uh, the burner's light, they warm up the heat exchanger, uh, fan comes on, blows air across the heat exchanger, burner goes off, it shuts down. Well, there's some inefficiencies on that startup and shutdown. And those were not included in that rating of 80%. Compare that to an automobile driving at, say, 40 miles an hour, not speeding up, not slowing down. And then take the same automobile and uh, have it come up to speed, slow down, and come back up to speed, and stop and go driving. There's going to be a difference in the efficiency between those two actions. So the 80% st steady state is comparable to the 40 mile an hour in the car. So they came up with what we called AFU or AFUE, Annual Fuel Util Utilization Efficiency. And it's really kind of a, it's a more accurate way. If I had a modern 80% furnace, it would put out over the season, the heating season, it would give me 80% efficiency, where this furnace here would not. A couple of the things that, that differentiate these furnaces are uh, the inducer. Now this is a newer, newer, this thing's 20 some years old. Uh, they used inducers to pull the gases out. They gave, they got higher efficiency uh, heat exchangers. They were a little thinner than they were before. Uh, the original 80% furnace had to rely on the high temperature of the gases to get the gases up through the uh, chimney and out the roof. Well, these things use an inducer to do it. So they can actually get a little more efficiency out of it by having a lower stack temperature. Now stack temperature is simply the temperature of the vent. If I were to take the temperature of the, of the gases coming out of this vent on the newer 90% furnace, it would be a lower number than the one coming out of the old draft hood type furnace. Uh, one of these days I'll do a little comparison of that and we'll, we'll see if we can figure out uh, how much difference there is. But these newer furnaces had to have some sort of rating that everyone could depend on. So the older furnaces, if you were looking at the AFU or AFUE of this furnace, it would actually be more like somewhere between 55 and 65 percent efficient. So, you know, we did 
there is some losses with these things that they've overcome on the newer furnaces. So uh, if you're thinking about changing from an old 80 like this one to one of the new 80s, then you would gain 10 to 15 percent on the efficiency going from the old gas uh, 80 to the new gas 80. Uh, the gas 80 percent furnaces are going to be, even these new ones, uh, are going to be phased out uh, May 2013. So they're not going to be available much more. Everything will have to be over 90 percent if you live in the northern tier of the states. Uh, so even this furnace here will not be available in the northern tier. So that's the difference between the uh, old 80% and the newer 80% furnaces.